know, there's only tw- like three more weeks left in this year. Yeah. Everyone always thinks like, you know, once it becomes New Year's or whatever, they want to like make new resolutions and um, like start then. Like, I think it's um, I think that's stupid. Like, the time is like to start now. You yeah. know, honestly, New Year's is just another day, dude. It comes up, the sun comes up, like the sun goes down. It's just the same shit, different toilet. You know what I mean? Why can't t- tomorrow be the day or even today be the day that you start your new coding journey or your workout journey or weight loss journey or your whatever you want to learn skill journey, you know, just New Year's is the same day as December 4th, 2024. <laughs> the days that you wait for things to start, you lose that many days to get that much better at something. You remember when I first got laid off, right? And dude, I gained like 50 pounds since COVID. And um, I always told myself, I told myself this exact trap. I said, uh, I'll lose the weight, you know, once, uh, you know, it's a new year or whatever. But um, that wasn't it, dog. Like, um, I was just giving myself an excuse to kind of do something later. And uh, honestly, like, it wasn't even that hard losing the weight, you know? Like, not that I lost all 50 pounds because I think I was young. My metabolism was still good, but now I got the dad bod, dude. <laughs> but, um, like, I thought, I think I lost, like, 25 pounds in, like, a month, yeah. you know? And, uh, I just started that day or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, you know, by New Year's, like, I'm not in the mode to really lose weight. I'm more in the mode to, like, maintain what I've built. And, um, I'm not scrambling to fit pieces in or slide things into place, like, as you know 2025 happens I'm there to kind of maintain and keep things in place for 2025 and uh, like definitely like when I was young I used to make like a huge deal out of New Year's you know like a huge deal we used to go to Pier 39 every New Year's my friends like um, I don't know like my best friend since I was young my like friends Mm -hmm. but um I don't know, one of their friends said, like, how you spend New Year's is how you spend the rest of the year. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, so we always try to, like, be around a lot of friends, be at a party or whatever, and um, spend it just happy in general. But um, it didn't, you know, but in the end, that's, like, maybe, like, when I'm young, I feel that way. But, like, now that I'm, like, a little bit older and wiser, another day is just another day. Mm-hmm. How I spend today, it might be know it could change from the next day but usually the days you spend are still like gonna be the you know the maintainable days you know like there are days to celebrate and party but um it's more about like maintenance and it's a marathon you know it's not a sprint and um that goes with coding or learning any skill um like sure like maybe your new year's resolution is to lose weight or gain muscle or learn coding right or you know change your career and um you're giving yourself the excuse okay once it hits 2025 i'll do that you know what i'm saying but actually the time's like like if you have an extra you know even if you have an eight hour a day job you have a full-time job you have like i don't know you can sacrifice like an hour of sleep or something to kind of like get an hour of studying done and um, you can start now, you know what I mean? Your New Year's is gonna be no different than your position now. Yeah. Uh, you might get those extra like holiday, uh, what is it, holiday, like the New Year's holidays or whatever, days off, but um, and then, but you probably have to spend that time with your family, so just um, start now and you'll be that much more progressed in your journey, like, you know, three more weeks than, you know, uh, starting on New Year's 2025 and um, honestly like if you start now you could probably get a job and like um, you work hard and it, you know you understand what you're doing you know like it takes six months right that's how long it took me but I'm not I'm, I'm not saying that's like a uh, like a super common case but even if you start now right that's one less month that you have to do in January. So that's a month faster to change your life, I think. So, okay, once it's 2025, I'll start, right? Mm-hmm. 
that's the same mindset of like procrastination, right? Like, even if I get a big project, and I'm like, okay, I can uh, I can finish in a night, you know, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But like, honestly, why put that stress on my body? It's too hard. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, I've been through that. I've been there, done that. Uh, even like an essay that you have to write, I'm sure you can do it in a day, right? But um. You have to make things less stressful and keep things, you know, comfortable for yourself. So, you know, it's not about like procrastinating and finding other things to do to busy your time, because that's all you're doing really. Like you're you're just finding things to make yourself busy, so you don't have to do that thing. Just do the thing now, so you don't have to keep busy, and then you can keep that time busy being productive. This goes to a point that I want to say, like procrastination after you do it like a couple of times you've been there done that you have to like start learning about yourself like yes you can like build a whole app over a night if you need to but it's not very, it's not going to be that good and it's not going to be very comfortable on you because you're going to be freaking stressed you're going to hit a lot of bugs and um you know it's not going to be easy but i mean the, you know like um my experience like as a senior developer i guess like um you have to know what you're capable of. Yes, everyone feels like they're super smart. Everyone feels like uh, they're super capable at a certain degree, at a certain point, uh, to a certain degree. But um, crap, dude, this guy's being an asshole. But um, you have to know your limits, man. That's like, that's the biggest lesson you need to handle on yourself. Like, um, yes. You know, like uh, you have to learn how long something, some things are gonna take you to keep put like weight on your name. Like, say uh, you get a project, like you you will know exact, and then you start asking questions. Okay, I need authentication. I need this kind of data. I want to do this and this and this with the website. You can kind of say, okay, I know exactly how long uh, setting up login and sign up has taken me before. Mm-hmm. Oh, Google sign. I know how long that's taken me before. Uh, but this kind of stuff, I still have not done. So um, I will need some time to research on it and tell you how long it's gonna take me, but I will give you an exact time frame of how long it's gonna take me. And if you hit that timeline, you put a lot of weight on your name, you know. Mm-hmm. And they make people and uh, you make people want to work with you. And uh, you gotta be, you know, you gotta know your capabilities and know your limits. And that's how a job, like even to get a job, that's how you're gonna be. Um, you're gonna be graded, you know. They're gonna give you a task. They're gonna give you some time to finish it, and then you finish it on the time, or you know, even early. You ask for a review, and then um, they give you the next task. If you miss your deadline, then it's kind of like, okay, I can't give them this much, uh, this much next time. And then it, you get, you kind of start getting engaged. And then even if you know your limits, now you know your limits, you can kind of push the bar- push the uh, boundaries. And uh, get even better, you know, and more thorough, and um, just uh, it's a lot of um, it's a lot of coding, and it's a lot of uh, knowing yourself, and yeah, like everyone feels like they can do it all in one night. I'm sure everyone's felt that. Like, I have to study for a test. Okay, I can get all the studying done in one night. Don't worry. But uh, why put yourself through that much stress? You know, like makes no sense. And like to hold yourself accountable for that kind of stuff you know like like say I have a new goal I think there's like these uh, black and white speckled journals that you can buy from CVS or something it's like a dollar or something maybe two dollars but um you can I just I think writing something down on paper and writing your goals writing uh, the dates deadlines it's going to hold a lot more weight than typing it on a computer um, I think it'll help you a lot so just uh, learn to write things down I'm not saying it's for everyone but for me definitely if I write it down like even when I take notes I could type it but I, I like to write and take notes to kind of like uh, like once I write it it feels like I have it's going in my mind a little better and um, even like the uh, like goals and stuff like even like what I'm going to do and what I did in the day so I can kind of like compare what I did. And I mean, 
It's just holding yourself accountable for each date and say you have a start date and a deadline. I have to learn this. Track your progress because like the progress is uh, the most important thing. So like in the beginning of the day, what you want to do and at the end of the day, what you did. And then now you can kind of get like a sense of what you're actually capable of in that comfortable amount of time. And then you can kind of fight to get better the next time, you know? And um, so like definitely like in the Discord server, we have a coding accountability, mm-hmm. workout accountability, but um, in the coding accountability, people just put like um, what they did for the day. Mm-hmm. But I think we got to flesh that out a little bit more and like uh, what you, what you wanted to at the beginning of the day and what you actually did at the end of the day. And then on the beginning of the month, you have to kind of put a goal, right? So, uh, and then like by the end of the, like, and then you have checkpoints like every, like uh, every week or every 10 days you put like, oh, how, what's your percentage, uh, like how much percentage points are you to getting to 100 points or what is your progress percentage, you know? And you can gauge that kind of stuff. And by doing this, you kind of, learn yourself a little bit better so you can kind of um, gauge tasks gauge yourself gauge your limits a little bit better next time and that's super important just uh time is now and it's not really about like waiting for this fake energy or like this um you know this energy that you get from this weird day that's just another day but it's more about these uh mentality changes or these lifestyle changes that'll uh, actually change your life in the end, you know?